Hi everyone, this is Moon Dagavan. So today's session is GitHub and Git with PyCharm. So however, we will be coding in different languages for different projects. But it's known that we will be having a different team members across the different geographical locations. So in that case, it's necessary to have the version control management. In case if you are only the one who is working on the project, so you may have only one version control system in your local desktop or local system that will be enough but in case of huge projects we need to have a different team members across the different locations so in that case we need to have the version control management which is distributed or let's say working on a cloud basis so for the reason in this series we are going to see what is github git and with the use of pycharm however git and github commands we should be knowing and we should know the concepts in detail then after we can use the pycharm along with the git and github So before starting, we will understand what is GitHub versus Git. Generally, Git is a version control system, a tool to manage your source code history. Let's say you have the version control system only in your system for only for your usage, then we can go for the Git. So Git is enough for that. But however, if you are working with the different team members, then GitHub is the posting service for Git repositories. In other words, you can tell like GitHub is built over the Git. So they are not the same thing. Git is the tool and GitHub is the service for projects that use the Git. For the proceeding, we will understand what is the Git flow here. Generally, you will be having the working directory in your local. Then you will be getting from your remote repository. So remote repository is something like in the cloud, you have the total source code. So it will be the source code for the entire team, not only for yours. So then you will be getting the code to your local system or working directory by using the command git pull or git clone. So you are just cloning the total repository. Then after you will be doing your further, let's say adding, deleting, updating or whatever the things you want to do on the code wise, you will be doing that one. Then after you will be using the command git add. So git add will be moving your code to the staging area. So in this stage, you will be having the index also. So then after you will be again, moving that to the next level it is called a commit so commit will go into the local repository so after going to the local repository then you will use the command like git push so that it will be moved to the remote repository considering you have the access for the remote repository a git flow normally goes like you clone the git repository as a working copy or you may be cloning from the different repository it may be something like your user repository or it can be like a company repository then after you will modify the copy by adding or editing the file and you will update a working copy by taking the developer changes so then after before committing you will see everything and you will commit that code as we discussed in the earlier side so after committing you will be pushing your code to the remote repository in that moment, let's say after committing your code, if you find something, you can revert and you can do changes again. Again, you can commit and you can move back or you can push the code to the repository. So what are the GitHub advantages? Version control tool, which helps user to track from start to end. So if you are using Git, it will be the same concept, but it will be working only on your system. Whereas GitHub will be the online repository. It has both GUI and command line interface also. And after that, multiple developers from multiple locations can work. For example, you can get the code from other developers also from online or let's say from GitHub and you can share your repository to the others also by using the GitHub. So rather than sending a mail or putting into the different places. And after that, you will have the backup for your code regardless of workplace or system. Let's say you have your code for Python or for Java, anything maybe. So let's say you have in your only in your laptop. If any issues happen to your laptop, so that code will be corrupted or it will be lost. So in that case, if you have the GitHub account, so you can have your code base in the GitHub, so you can work in any place at any time. Next one, Git. As we discussed, Git is a tool, so we need to install from the Git site, git-scm.com. So it is just like a tool, you can use it in your desktop. For different OS, we have the different, let's say downloads, Mac OS and Windows and Linux. Especially in Linux OS, it will be working very faster because it will be already with the Linux system and it will have the Git repository or let's say Git code. Next one, GitHub account. So whatever may be your role, so better to have one GitHub account so that you will have your code base backup there. 
so it's very simple like you can just go into the site and you can log in with your let's say your gmail account or you can create your own account there itself next one pycharm since we are using git and github so it's very necessary to understand the total concept under the git commands however if you are using the pycharm for python code better to use the github options available in the pycharm itself but before going to this stage we need to understand about what is the git and github and what are the different commands should be available without knowing that one if you directly jump into the pycharm in some point of time you may be stuck because this pycharm and this tool dependent functionalities may not be working in different areas for example if you are starting working in the jenkins so that time if you don't know the git command so it will be very difficult to make the different options there so let's see here so how to install the different things so go to the git git sm.com so you will be having the different downloads here but as per your os it will be showing your latest source code or source release so download for linux because i am using the linux ubuntu so you just execute this command in your command terminal so control alt delete so the same command you can use it so apt get install git so go here just paste it already i have installed it so you need to change it to root user because it needs the access you can right click paste enter so already it's there so i don't need to install again so already the newest version 1.217 is already there so in case of windows you need to have the exe file and after downloading that exe file you will be just going to the wizard it will be asking you to next 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 by default options it will work properly so you can download that here in generally if you download the windows you will not have directly like a command line terminal you may have like a git bash as well so it works in the same way uh, as far as you know the git commands and next one you can go to the github.com and you can create your own username and password and you can have the different kinds of repositories let's say if you go to your repository so you may be seeing the different repository here if you are new to that and you can create the new repository as well so here you can get the new repository you need to give the repository name so it will be ready for your code base you can understand again further more difference between the git and github however we have discussed this so next going to the pycharm considering you have created the github account and you have installed the git also so before going to the pycharm we will understand from the command terminal so let's go into the documents page so let's click into the documents here i want to create the git repository so before starting to use the git commands you need to just execute the git in it because this folder will be considered as a normal folder but if you want to consider as a repo you need to execute this git in it and it will create one dot git command as a dot git file actually so if you just click ls you will not be seeing that file but if you just type ls hyphen a so you can see the dot git so this file make sure that your folder is not normal folder it will be like a git repository now in that case if you just click git and go to the your profile for example i am just just a minute it's loading so i went to here so let's consider pi mongo intuition which is our last video series here you can see the this button like clone or download if you guess get this url and go to the terminal and right click and paste it so before executing command we will go to the folder level and see what it is currently we have only two folders mongo and zoom just execute this command sorry i have missed the clone here so git clone enter so it will be cloning your code base from the github repository and you can have it in your local so now you can see the pymongo intuition has come the same way if you go here you will be having two files here so like that you can clone from the 
your own repository or it's not necessary that it should be only your repository you can download from other repositories as well other developers repository as well just considering the repository is the public so this is one way you can clone your repository from your command prompt so you have just cloned that one the same way you can go to the pycharm so pycharm for example if you go to the file and then settings you can see the version control under the version control you will be having different values under that you just click on the github so you can have the different accounts so i have just already logged in here so i can see my version control or i can see the github profile in your case it may be empty so you can click on plus symbol or you can click on other option to add so here you can give the login and password which you have created in the github site after giving that one you can see this github so by using this you can download anything for example now if i want to see the my own version control let's say go into the vcs version control then get from version control then you can see the repository url so from which version control i'm just going to get it can be git or it can be mercurial it can be sub version but most of the people will be using the git after that you can give your url so this is where you can use others developer repository as well so you will be getting the repository and you will be downloading or cloning that file into the directory called your home directory but however if you want to browse your own repository so you can go here so it's loading actually so you can see your all the repositories which is under your profile and after that you can clone if you are required or if you want to just clone from your command prompt also you can do so in case of if you are using pycharm for long run so you can directly use this one but however it's necessary to understand the git commands as well as we discussed so this is all about the git and github with pycharm in coming videos we will understand how to commit the code from the let's say in the command prompt at the same time from the let's say pycharm and the same way we can get or pull that code from the github and we can push the code as well so in simple words we can understand total github operations in the pycharm as well as in the command terminal so that's all for this video so thanks all thanks for watching and have a great day